Hey everyone, I finally got a chance to play the Project 006. If you want to hear about it, stay tuned. So first off, let's talk about this new paddle from Selkirk, the Project 006. This is the latest line in the Project Labs. It is $333. We're going to talk about that afterwards, see if we can talk about how it's being worth it. First, let's go over the specs. This is a 16 millimeter paddle. It's 8.3 to 8.7 ounces. It's an elongated paddle. It's got a 5.75 inch handle. It is thermoformed unibody, carbon faced paddle. It's got a polymer core. It's got a swing weight of only 117, and the spin on this thing is ridiculous. On the charts of the people that are measuring spin, 2000 RPM spin model on Chris Olson's spin chart, the top spinning paddle that he's tested so far. The other thing about this paddle that I think is very unique is that it's got a two-year warranty. This is one of the only paddles that I know of that has a two-year warranty, and so Selkirk's really upping their game on the warranty for manufacturer defects, which I think is pretty cool. The first thing that you notice when you look at this paddle is it's not that pleasant to look at. It's a rounded shape, very similar to the Maxima, but you can see that they are quite different. It has a little bit more flat top on it, like a traditional shape, a little bit more like a square shape paddle but you can see here how they look very different. And then on the handles, you can see the difference on the handle length. This is a much longer handle with a 5.75, the Maxima having a 5.25 inch handle. 4.25 inches around. Now, one thing that they did different on this is they went to the oval grip, which I don't know why they went to the oval grip. I'm not a fan of it. So I've actually modified mine and I've actually put a hexagon grip on it because I like to feel the bevels, so I just, took one of the handles off of one of my other paddles and put it on this one. So compared to other Thermoform paddles, I would have to say that this is the second softest paddle in the Thermoform range. I really would call this paddle a hybrid. It feels like it's a polymer, but it also is a Thermoformed. You definitely can tell when you hit around the edges. The only negative feedback I could have for this is that around the edges, when you hit outside of the sweet spot, it's a little bit jarring to your hand. It's not the most pleasant feel. Now, you don't lose performance. The paddle will still perform when you hit around the edges, but you're gonna know it. You're gonna get feedback from the paddle. It's going to feel a little bit harsh to you when you hit around the edges. But I still felt like the ball would go where I was aiming it when I hit outside the edges. So it wasn't like just clunky and falling to the ground. It would still go, just not as powerful, and it would be kind of a jarring feedback to your hand. A lot of people will look at the static weight and they're like, okay, 8.3 ounces to 8.7 ounces, that is super heavy. Well, I'll say that because this paddle is very neutrally balanced, I would say this is a very well-balanced paddle, very well all-court paddle. This paddle does not feel slow at the net. Even though it's 8.7 ounces at the max, you are not going to notice it at the net. I felt like hands battles, things at the net, you can still maneuver this paddle really well and get your hand on a lot of balls. It, maybe the aerodynamics help it, I don't know, but you can still get this paddle maneuverable at the net. Now, if 8.7 ounces is heavy for you, you might feel it in your shoulder, but you're not gonna have slow hand speed with this because it is very quick at the net for your hand speed. So let's talk about the performance as I played this paddle. I really liked playing this paddle. The drives, I felt the drives were good. Now it does not have as much pop as like the Double Black Diamond or you know, several, almost all of the other Thermoform paddles. Like I said, they have a little bit more pop than this guy. This is a control Thermoform paddle. So you're gonna really do well with your third shot drops. You can do well with your drives with top spin. They're just not gonna be as poppy as some of the other paddles on the market in this range. But when you're talking about control, when you're talking about winning hands battles, or you're talking about dinking at the net, or resets from no man's land, this paddle really shines. I found that I could reset from anywhere. I felt I felt very comfortable in the dinks, in the kitchen battles, and in where I was at at the net. So I felt that this paddle just took a little bit of getting used to with the shape, just looking at it. But I found that after I started playing it, the shape didn't bother me as much. I could always tell when I hit out of the sweet spot like I talked earlier. But other than that, the paddle really performed. Now, if you really want a lot of pop, this is not gonna be the paddle for you, even though it's thermoformed unibody it does not perform the same as some of the other ones when it comes to pop. And that's also because of the lower swing weight. It is second lowest swing weight compared to all the other Thermoform paddles that are elongated. Now they're calling this the Tour version because they're kind of targeting the Pro Tour player. I really think that this paddle is gonna end up being a lot of singles players paddles because of the control aspect of it and because you can put the ball away with it. 
you just need to put a little bit more work into it than the other Thermoform paddles. But the spin on this guy is ridiculous. The drives that I hit with this, the way they were able to dip, I was even able to put top spin and cuts on my dinks with this paddle. So it really performed well in the spin ratio. So I think it's a great paddle. Now, the other thing about this paddle is the price. Now it's 333 bucks with our pirate discount and the labs promotion. When you sign up for labs, you can give feedback on this paddle. They will give you a $70 rebate card. If you also use our discount code that's in the description below, you will get a $40 rebate card as you get this. After 30 days, you will get a $40 rebate card for using that code. The thing that I think Selkirk has done right with this paddle is the two year warranty. Because it has a two year warranty, it makes that price point a little bit more palatable. Because the warranty, if something is defective on this, you can just get it replaced. So I think that that's one of the edges that Selkirk has learned to do. And they're really backing their manufacturing on this because it's made in the USA. So made in the USA, it's got the two year warranty. 333 bucks minus the discount rebate. With the rebate cards, you're actually getting hundreds of dollars more of merchandise for this price. So if you don't think that this paddle is for you or you want to try a different paddle, check out these reviews. Yeah, they're good paddles too.